Pledge Wednesday, January 12th. Happy National Pharmacist Day. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Please be seated. Attention theater friends, the spring musical season is starting up and needs your talent. Auditions for the spring production Into the Woods begin today. Auditions will take place in the auditorium at 3 p.m. or you may submit a virtual audition. Please see Google Classroom or Mrs. Brogna with any questions. Hola, the next monthly meeting of the Spanish Honor Society will be Wednesday during 26 at 7.10 a.m. in room 114. Attendance is mandatory. See Senor Oliver with any issues. Congratulations to the following student for their college acceptances. N Natalie Bynes, University of Maine, University of Southern Maine, Central Connecticut State, Rogers Williams University. She has committed to Roger Williams University with a major in cybersecurity and networking with a minor in digital forensics. And now let's go to this day in history. On January 12th, 2010, Haiti is devastated by a massive earthquake. It drew an outpouring of support from around the globe, but the small nation has yet to fully recover. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, due, to largely, due largely to its history of colonization, occupation, and exploitation by Spain, France, and the United States. It has also had a history of seism seismic activity. Devastating earthquakes were recorded there in 1751, 1770, 1842, and 1946. The 2010 earthquake struck just before 5 p.m. The tremor was felt as far away as Cuba, but the epicenter of the 7.0 magnitude quake was just 16 miles away from Port-au-Prince. Eight, eight aftershocks followed the same day, and at least 52 were recorded over the next two weeks. The effects were devastating. All of the capital's hospitals sustained serious damage, as did Port-au-Prince's airport and its seaport, which was rendered inoperable. Telecom services were greatly affected, major roads were rendered impassable and close to 300,000 buildings, most of which were re residences, were damaged beyond repair. The human toll was horrific. Some estimates put the number of deaths around 40 to 50,000, 50, while the Haitian government estimated that over 316,000 died. But all the authorities acknowledge that the death toll is impossible to truly count. News and images of the quake, including photos of the heavily damaged National Palace, quickly activated a massive humanitarian response. The Dominican Republic and the Dominican Red Cross responded immediately with emergency supplies, supplies and airlifts to Dominican hospitals. Nations from every continent contributed money, supplies, and manpower. The Hope for Haiti campaign on January 22nd broke records by raising $58 million in one day. The situation was still classified as an emergency six months after the earthquake. A million people on the island lived in tents, and a cholera epidemic that began in October claimed over 3,300 more lives. Whether or not Haiti has yet fully recovered is a matter of debate, but the effects of the earthquake were noticeable for the next decade. And now let's go back to the anchors. The Wildcat Cafe is serving a variety of choices at break today, including new chicken patty sliders, funnel cakes, breakfast sandwiches, smoothies, parfaits, assorted pastries, and uncrushables. And now let's go to this week's edition of Wildcat Shoutouts. Shout out to my TV One students. Sadly, I don't have much time left to you with you, but I'm sure that you're going to create the most fantastic game shows ever. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Bodwell for calling us today. Shout out to Ari and shout out to Miguel. Shout out to Shelby. Shout out to Gio Jr., uh, Kayla De Silva, Tyler Bullock, Natalia, uh, what's her name, Coelho, and uh, Dylan. I don't know his last name. Shout out to Madison Dog. Shout out to all my friends. Shout out to this door. Um, shout out to George for letting me put his hair in a man bun. And shout out to LaShawn. Shout out to Jillian, Jill, and Caroline. Shout out to Jillian. Shout out to Webster and Coffee. Shout out to Sam Souza. Shout out to Braden Saint I want to do a shout out to my power block. Yeah, 208. Go seniors. Shout out to Miss D. Simone. Welcome back. <laughs> shout out to Malik. And shout out to Miss Pistorino. Finally, a happy birthday to Grace Poland. That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Rachel, myself, and the morning crew, have a great day.